hello guys you welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'll be teaching you how i achieve this look and i hope you enjoy the process for my primer i'm going into this classic mattifying primer this is a very nice dupe for the becca primer very nice very efficient it works for very early girls like me when i use it at least i am sure that my oil is at bay for like four hours and after that i might have to do a lot of touching up but this primer it works ensure to massage it properly into your skin for my foundation i'll be going into this nyx born this way foundation in cocoa it's a dewy foundation very nice for oily girls i would not advise you to use this type of foundation you should go for a more mattifying foundation but i like to use this foundation when i just want to look a bit dewy not too dewy i don't want to look too mattified and that is why i'm going into this so you can see it's my perfect skin shade and that's why I'm going into it. Make sure to blend the parts first before going to the other part of your face. Kindly make sure your beauty blender is damp so that you can blend your foundation seamlessly into your face. Blend it into your hair. For my concealer, I'll be going into my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun. This is another underrated product that people don't really buy anymore. They feel like it does not work. But I tell you, in this tipping economy, in this economy that we are, this is a very budget friendly concealer that you can use for your makeup. And it achieves what you need it to achieve. Is that not what we all want to get? I'll be using my flat brush to apply my concealer. Placement is key, so you want to apply it carefully. You don't want to go overboard. I'm apply it on my chin. I'll be using my beauty blender to blend it all in together and guys i will not be applying so much of it on my forehead because i feel like this hairstyle i made is making my forehead look a bit protruded and i don't like that so i would not want to be attracting attention to my forehead reasons why i would be highlighting my forehead i hope that note is taken so blend 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 yeah guys i hope you are enjoying this video and if you are don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to drop your comments i'll be reading them so enjoy guys right now i'll be setting the places where i like it with my mirac setting powder in the shade ginger you want to use your powder puff in applying this and you can also use your beauty blender but a powder puff is more applicable because it can enter into the inner corners of your eyes so yes that is why i am using it and it is very nice and easy to use So right now I'll be going into a powder to also set the places where I like it. I'll be going into my Sephora powder in Mohogane. Yes. At this point, only God can deliver me from this green mirror. Because no matter how I try to hide it from my videos, it just keeps popping up. Next up, I'll be going into my Fit Me powder in the shade Truffle. I'll be using this to set the rest of my face. And like I always say on this channel, if you're a dark skin girl, you don't need to go too hard on contouring. You don't need to contour. You are dark already. So what you just need to do is to make sure you work on your highlight. It is what I have done right now. So right now, we'll just be setting the whole look with this powder. If you want to go a notch higher and you want to probably do a little bit of bronzing on your face you can go into this morph glamour bronze bronzer it is in the shade prodigy and this is the shade for dark skin girls like me so i'll be using it on places where i used my powder just to bronze my face a little bit you don't need too much except for if you are going on a very serious full glam and you know what you are trying to get right now is just a moderate cool nude glam
I'll be using a bit of the bronzer to accentuate my nose just to give it that a little bit of pointed nose or chiseled nose so that's what I want to use this to achieve starting from here you don't need too much just a little bit because you don't want that place to be too dark Now I'll be going into one of the favorite things in my makeup routine which is applying my blush and I'll be applying my blush on the apples of my cheek. I'll be going into this pink and orange shade together on the apples of my cheek. I'm setting my own look with this Kiss Beauty setting spray. This is just to lock up everything I have done and make sure they merge into each other which is what I'll be doing right now. I'll be going back into the places where I used my setting powder. I will just need to bake it a little. I'm not baking so much, just something to just make it feel dry. Yeah. So this will be there pending the time where I am done with the rest of my makeup. Right now, I'll be going into my brows, and for my brows, I'm not doing so much. I'll just be brushing it up. And I'll be going into a brown and black pencil just to draw my brows. I'll be going into the black pencil first. This pencil is Ever Shin Black Pencil. I'll be using this to draw my first and second outline. Now that this is done, I'll be filling it up with my brow pencil my brown brow pencil this is david's brow pencil for somebody that asked that she wanted a brow tutorial i'm so sorry i believe that the brow tutorial you want is the one on the model and not on my face so once i get the model i'll create a brow tutorial on my channel so guys kindly be patient with me And guys, you can see how natural and pretty these brows look. I don't know. It is days when I don't have events and I'm just doing this for content. That is when my brows pop out and look very good. But days when I need to go for an event and I need to glam and look as good as possible, my brows will start misbehaving. I don't understand. I need to break that jinx. Looking at these brows, they don't need a lot of concealing. So I'll be going into my foundation shade just to conceal it and make it just pop out. I'll be blending that out with my brush. And guys, that's that. You need to learn how to draw your brows where you don't need to conceal the top of your brows. God, I told you, immediately you act this, you are good to go. You don't waste time at all on your brows. So learn how to draw your brows that it will look as sharp as possible. And what you just need to do is a simple highlighting, which is what we achieve. I'll be setting the highlight with my... Milani powder in one. That's something to make that place pop. Now I'll be going into my eyeliner. Eyeliner in Avod is a liquid eyeliner. I really use eyeliners, but I don't want to do eyeshadow, so I'll be going right into my eyeliner. This is the Ava eyeliner. You have to be very careful, guys, because this step is always annoying. Oh yeah, pro, yeah, pro. So just for a bit of pop on my eyes, I'll be going into this blue Mirac eyeliner. I got it from Lifa and Reveries Master Plus. So this was what was one of the things I got in my Gucci bag. So let's just try it today. I don't think it fits what I'm wearing, but let's see. nice and I cut is giving I 
so guys not everyday black sometimes try blue sometimes try green sometimes try yellow <laughs> Or sometimes you try red but no you don't want to cry red so i think a blue is perfect yeah so it's nice oh i really use blue but i like what this is giving now my mascara i'm going into this kiss beauty impact mascara this is mega impact mascara this mascara does wonders guys like see how my lashes look as long as you can possibly imagine So guys, going into my lashes, I'll be using the Mismetic Lashes. So right now, I'll be lining my lips. I'm going into my Milai Pencil in brown. I'm using this to line my lips. I'll be going into my Big Charm Matte. This is the Big Charm Ageless Matte Lipstick. It's a lip stain, rather, I'm using that on my lips. As you all know, I can't do without my glosses, and this is my Zekiel glosses in nude. I'll be using this in Earth and Brunette. Instead of using blood today, I'll be using brunette. So let's see if it will give me the magic that I want. Use my brunette first. Yeah, so you can see it looks good. Now I'll be finishing up this look with my Urban Decay All Nighter Finishing Spray. So guys, we have come to the end of this look and I hope you love it and I hope it was easy for you to get the techniques we used in achieving this product. And guys, if you want a particular video or you want to see me do a particular look on this channel, kindly drop your comments. So if you like this video, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!